If you have stony corals in your aquarium, you, of course, know you need to dose calcium, carbonate, and trace elements. There are several ways to do this, but the easiest is Tropic Marin's All for Reef. There are three ways to go about it, but the easiest is this pre-mixed liquid All for Reef. The second way is using the All for Reef powder that you just have to mix with RODI water. And the third way is the DIY kit, which has four parts. But before we go into all these, let me explain how they work first. Traditional two-part dosing contains one part calcium chloride and a second part sodium carbonate or bicarbonate. And then you can add in a third part magnesium, but you don't have to dose that nearly as frequently as the other two. Over time, traditional two-part can lead to a buildup of sodium chloride or table salt, which can have a detrimental effect on your corals. Then you have the balling method, which is almost the same as traditional two-part, except that it adds a third component, which negates the problem of sodium chloride buildup found in traditional two-part dosing. Contrary to popular belief, the balling method does not replenish all of the trace elements that the corals consume. It merely adds a minuscule amount of trace elements to offset the buildup of sodium chloride. Whereas both the balling method and traditional two-part dosing are based off of calcium chloride and sodium carbonate or bicarbonate, Tropic Marin's All for Reef is different. It uses calcium formate, which when mixed with your aquarium water is broken down by bacteria into calcium and carbonate. Even though it is completely different than Kalkwasser, Tropic Marin All for Reef and Kalkwasser both dose calcium and carbonate in a single solution. But whereas Kalkwasser stops there, All for Reef takes it a step further by adding magnesium and trace elements. The end result is a single solution that doses all major, minor, and trace elements without the sodium chloride buildup that is common in two-part dosing. It's basically the balling method perfected. For the longest time, the only downside of All for Reef was its cost because it only came in this liquid form and was a bit pricey. This 1,000 milliliter bottle is a great solution for smaller tanks, but what if you have a larger system that requires a lot of dosing? Well, that's why Tropic Marin released its DIY kit. It's four parts in total that you mix together and it saves you a ton of money. If you purchase the 1,000 milliliter bottle of All for Reef, it comes out to $37 a liter. But if you get the 10 liter DIY kit, that price drops all the way down to $12 per liter. As long as you're willing to play amateur chemist and mix the four parts together, it will save you a ton of money. But wait, Tropic Marin didn't stop there. Instead of having to mix together the carbocalcium, biomagnesium, A- and the K plus element solution, Tropic Marin created an all-in-one powder that does it all for you. Now all you have to do is mix the appropriate amount of all for reef powder with RODI water and you're done. You may be thinking, well that's great, but it has to be more expensive. Nope, it's almost half the price of the DIY kit. If you buy the large container, this 1600 gram version, it can make 10 liters and it comes out to $7.50 a liter. So a quick price recap for you. If you go with the liquid all for reef, it costs $37 a liter or $140 a gallon. The DIY all for reef is $12 a liter or $45.50 a gallon. And the powder all for reef is $7.50 a liter at only $28.50 per gallon. Which product is right for you? Well, the recommended starting dose is 5 milliliters of liquid all for reef per 26 gallons of tank water. That means for a 26 gallon tank, this 1000 milliliter bottle could last you upwards of 200 days. We also sell 32 and 64 ounce Bedix bottles, so you could mix up your own All for Reef and use the bottle for dispensing. Mixing the powder All for Reef is super easy. Just use six level scoops per one liter of water or 23 scoops for one gallon of water. I like to use these BRS mixing jugs, so I fill it four fifths of the way full with RODI water and then pour this out into a bucket. Then I use an acrylic rod to stir while adding in the 23 scoops. I stir it until it clears up, then use a funnel to pour it back into the BRS jug and then add a little RODI water to top it off. And then to make my life even easier, I drill a hole in the cap, install a one quarter inch push connect bulkhead, a piece of acrylic, and connect it to a dosing pump. 
I currently dose all for reef in the innovative marine 40 tank behind me and I will start dosing it in my water box frag tank as soon as the summer temperatures cool down here in Palm Springs and I can open up all the windows. In the summertime I actually use caulkwasser on that frag tank just to keep the pH up a bit. All for Reef is an absolutely amazing product that I wouldn't hesitate to recommend to any level of hobbyist. Click here to simplify your dosing regimen and as always everyone thanks for watching happy reefing be well we'll see you next time.